Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig and I got another jeans and boots video for you today. I have the Wrangler 20X Competition Style Number 02 Slim Fit Jean. And I'm gonna try this out with eight different kinds of cowboy boots featuring eight different toe shapes so you can see if this is gonna be a good jean for you. Let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya And then I'll be on my way so I'm pretty much on a mission to go through every pair of Wrangler's jeans and Levi's jeans to see how they stack up with different kinds of cowboy boots. And eventually I'm going to get around to the Wrangler 20X and I knew that I wanted to try it out. It's a little bit different. Uh, I'm excited to get into the different features here in this jean compared to their other ones. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into the rundown. Yes, this is the Wrangler 20X Competition Jean, style number 02 Slim Fit. And this one is the stone blue color. It features a 12 and a half ounce stretch denim of 77% cotton, 22% polyester, and 1% spandex. It's a mid-rise fit that lands just below the waist. Speaking of the waist, it has what Wrangler is calling an active flex waistband which is basically just some elastic sewn on the inside of the jean. And it is really stretchy. They say that it helps shift with your body and it will help keep shirts tucked in. I'm sure this will be a good jean for Thanksgiving too. You know what I'm saying. Looking at the leg of this jean, we can see that the top stitch seam is on the inside rather than the outside. So this differs from many Wranglers that are made in Mexico. Speaking of this Wrangler 20X jean is made in Bangladesh and it's coming in at $64 on Wrangler.com. For today's video, I'm wearing a shirt featuring a small business in Western New York, Magnum Pest Control. If any of you guys live in the Western part of New York State, anywhere from like Rochester down to the Southern tier or know anybody who lives there who's having issues with flies, spiders, cockroaches, rats, anything, any pests, give John a call at Magnum Pest Control or visit magnumpestcontrolny.com and he'll take care of your problems. They target pests, guys. Now it's time to try on these jeans with eight different kinds of cowboy boots. All right, let's start with the Ariat Ropers, which features a round toe and a shorter heel, and it also comes in at 10 inches tall. Now, I had to bend over again to feel that active flex work and you can definitely notice it. Overall, I'd say these jeans are doing a good job with these boots and covering up the tops. Next up is the Hondo 7875 featuring a U-toe, a one and a half inch heel and it also comes in at 13 inches tall. This is kind of baggy in the thighs for a slim fit, but the stretch denim is nice. And I think that it's the best example of a stretch denim that I've tried from Wrangler so far. Next up is the Justin Stampede boot. This features an Arto, a one and a half inch heel, and this also comes in at 13 inches tall, but it's the widest top that I have for a boot at the moment. And I've had a hard time trying to find jeans that will cover that top up. And this seems to be working well, you can still kind of see it through the jeans, but it's really not bad considering how wide these tops are on those boots. Next up are some BNV boots featuring a J toe and a one and a half inch heel. It also comes in at 13 inches tall. This is on the other end of the spectrum for tops. This is the most narrow top that I have and it's still working really, really well with these jeans. Remember, you can see videos of these boots at the links in the description. Wrangler Slim Fit jeans always seem to have a lot of room in the thighs, and this 20X Slim is no different. Up next is the Yeehaw Cowboy Came and Tail Snip Toe featuring a one and a half inch heel, and it's also 13 inches tall. It's time to get into some exotics here, and I'm starting to feel like the fit is similar to the Wrangler Retro Slim Straight jeans, except maybe this has just a little bit more of a boot cut leg opening. And I'm getting like an inch or two of stretch on that waistband on each side. Thanksgiving dinner, here we come. 
Up next is the Blackjack Piruku boot with a narrow square toe, one and a half inch heel, and a 12 inch top. This is looking great with all the styles here so far, and it may become a go-to jean for me this year. I'm really liking it. Up next is the Boulet model number 8502 Cayman belly with a French toe, a one and a half inch heel, and it's also 12 inches tall. It's a nice leg opening on this jean, which still shows off the boot. This is one of my boots that really can get swallowed up by certain jeans, but the 20X is doing a great job with it here. Finally, we have a wide square toe with a double stitched welt. This is an Anderson Bean Full Quill Ostrich with a one and a quarter inch heel and a 13 inch tall top. Slim fit jeans and wide square toe boots have a hard time going together sometimes, but not when it comes to Wranglers. This is the last boot in this lineup, and I think these jeans did well with everything. All right, guys, so I wore these around after that last little segment of me just trying these jeans on with different boots, and I gotta say that they are very comfortable. I also gotta say that they are not as slim as some slim fit jeans from many other brands. And I think that's just a Wrangler thing. I think that this Wrangler 20X Slim Fit jean is kind of similar to the fit of the Wrangler Retro Slim Straight jean, except this 20X has just a little bit more of a boot cut leg opening and maybe a little bit more room in the thighs. Also, this Wrangler 20X has a slightly heavier denim at 12 and a half ounces from the Wrangler Retro 12 ounces. It stretches a lot more too, especially at the waist. Uh, this active flex <laughs> waistband really does flex quite a bit. I know some of you folks out there who ride like this top stitch on the outside of the leg. That's something that this jean doesn't have when compared to like the Wrangler 13 MWZ, the Wrangler Rooted Texas one, or even the Wrangler Retro. That's something that if you care about that, um, something to know that that top stitch seam is on the inside of the leg. I know a lot of you guys don't care. I don't care either way. I'm enjoying how these fit. They're very, very comfortable. And I got a feeling that this is going to be one of my go-to jeans later this year and throughout the rest of this year, if not for the foreseeable future. So uh, let me know what you guys think of these Wrangler Competition 20X style number 02 slim fit jeans down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here. Uh, thank you so much for coming back to the channel each and every week. Love you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Peace. They're pretty baggy for slim fits, but you gotta love the way they flex. And they're comfortable all day, ready for what you got next, yeah. <laughs> Wanted to check out this other jeans video up here. Or I got a music video down here I think you might enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Yeah. Peace. Have a good one.